I S U P K. His hands were white like 
Whoa. Let's listen to the Bible, man. They said that his head and his hairs were white like wool, meaning he had white hair was the color and wool was the texture. And guess who had woolly hair on this planet Earth? You black man, That's you right. black sister, you understand? Y'all got that woolly hair, man. Right. And that right there you should be glorified to have because I King Yahweh Shah had woolly hair. You understand? I King Yahweh Shah had woolly hair. Go to, go to Daniel 7 and 9. Let me show you the most high. Let me show you the creator of all, man. Let me show you who created all mankind. Let me show you his description. Because guess what? No Christian church never done it. No Christian church, you go to church, all they gonna do is give you a concert full of dancing and homosexuality. You understand? That's all you gonna see when you go to that Christian church. That's but when right. you run in the real purpose of God, you gonna see masculinity. That's you go, right. you walking up on men That's right here right. on this corner. Three. Seven. That's Daniel chapter seven, verse nine. I beheld till the thrones were cast down. This right here is the prophet Daniel, man. He having a vision. And he having a vision of all these kingdoms falling and crumbling down, man. You understand? He having a vision of what you call the end times, the end days. Read. And the ancient of days did sit. The what? Ancient of days did sit. Read it again. And the ancient of days did sit. So this is the question right here. Who is the ancient of days? Who is the beginning of days, man? That right there is the most high. You That's understand? Right. That right there is the ancient of days. The ancient of days is the most high. Who we, we call his name Yahweh in the Hebrew. You understand? Keep going. Whose garment was white as snow. And guess what? The most high power, the creator of all, had a garment, man, that was white as snow. Keep going. And the hair of his head like the pure wool. Hold on, like what? The pure wool. Read it again. The hair of his head like the pure wool. You understand? This right here is talking about the most high God. The most high power, his head, and his hairs were like the pure wool. You understand? So whatever little notion you got about God, guess what? He ain't no little spirit or nothing. He got a body. You understand? And guess what? He got woolly hair. Keep going. Now go back to the one uh, that I want about Christ, man. Go back to Revelations. Go back to Revelations 1 and 14. I'm going to keep bringing this information out. Why am I bringing this information out about Christ? Because somebody in this earth said that he was a Caucasian. Somebody depicted Christ to be an oppressor. All right? And that right there was getting spread throughout the earth. All right? Because of this picture right here, this oppressor, this right here will make you hate black people. This right here will make you hate your own people because every single time you close your eyes, you pray to your oppressor. You pray to a false Jesus, man. That's and that right. right there is against God. And that right there, more so, will make God go against you. That's right. You understand? Keep going. Revelations chapter 1, verse 14. His head and his hands were white like wool, Three. as white as snow. Three. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Hold on, his eyes was what? as a flame of fire. Hold on, all right, so guess what? Christ, the real Christ, that black man, his eyes was red, man, like a flame of fire. Christ had red eyes because he drink, man. He drink. In the Bible, man, they called Christ and, and said that he was a wine bibber, meaning he was a drunkard, you understand? Christ drinks. he drinks strong drink, man. That's why his eyes was red and like a flame of fire. Keep going. Verse 15. And his feet like unto fine rats, as if they were burned in a furnace. Read it again. And his feet like unto fine rats. Guess what? Christ had brass feet. That right there is the color of a penny, right? Brass is brown. All right, that is the women in a brown. Keep going. As if they burn in a furnace. 
as if they did what? Burn in a furnace. Meaning this right here. You take a penny, which is a bronze penny, right? You take that penny and you throw it in a, a furnace, what color is it going to be? It's going to be black, all right? Christ was a dark-skinned brother, man, out of the tribe of Judah. That's you right. Understand? And all he came back to do was save his people. That's what he came back to do. And our king is, is soon to return, man, to this hellish place, man. All right? Black people, what we need to do is wake up, man, and come out of America, man. Come out of this filthy, disgusting place. Come out of this filthy, disgusting place because guess what? This is not our race. Black man, black woman, this is not our home, man. This right here is hell for us, man. All right? This right here is hell for a black man. Take me to Deuteronomy. I'm going to show you, man, black, Hispanic, and Native Indian, that we right now is living in a hellish condition. We living in a hellish condition. We the people that actually need to be saved by Christ. All right? The oppressor don't need to be saved because he owns every goddamn thing. That's right. The oppressor owns America. Your oppressor owns Russia. Your oppressor owns the whole entire earth right now, man. That's right. You understand? Give me Job 9 and 24. And I can go as far as show you, man. I'm going to show you why. Why this world is so wicked and so evil towards you, black man, it's, uh, Hispanic man, and First Nations man. This world is evil strictly towards you because this world right here is not our rest. The Lord put it this way because we didn't want to follow the laws of God. Keep going. This is the book of Job, chapter 9, verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Read it again. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Read it again. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. You want to know why black people, innocent black people, get killed at a grocery store in Buffalo, New York? This is the reason why. Hear the scripture. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. You want to know why your oppressor don't get the death penalty when he slaughters you? This is the reason why. Read it again. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. The earth, the whole entire earth, man, is given into the hands of the wicked, man. That's why the oppressor is able to slaughter you. That, that's why the oppressor is able to slaughter you and be able to go get Burger King after that. You understand? The earth given into the hands of the wicked. Who runs this old earth, man? Is it black people that runs this earth? Who has a, a government? Who has a military behind them, man? If you don't do what they say, they'll drop bombs on you, like Hiroshima and, uh, you know what I'm saying, Nagasaki over there in Japan. Who, 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 if you don't comply with them, man, will literally destroy your whole entire country, man? You understand? It's the so-called oppressor. The so-called oppressor has that power in the earth right now, man. Right now, he's ruling with the sword, man. You understand? All right? Give me uh, Deuteronomy. Give me the De uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 1. All right, stay right there. Stay right there. This right here, this is why we come out here on these streets. Black people, we come out here to wake y'all up to the truth. All right? We come out here to warn you black people to get off drugs. Get off the cigarettes. Get off prostitutes. Stop being wicked, man, and disgusting, man. Because guess what? Our king is soon to return, and guess what? This world is going to flip. Keep reading. Job chapter 9, verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Read. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. And it says right here in the Bible, listen to the Bible right here. It says that he covereth the faces of the judges thereof, man. And let me ask you this right here, black man. Who are the judges of this earth? Who are the protectors and the creators of this earth? It is God. It is the prophets, man. And guess how they cover the faces of the Most High and of the prophets? They painted those pictures to be some Caucasian, man. They said that God is Caucasian. You understand? How they control you, they control you through religion. They put a, a so-called seizure bush here and say that this is Jesus Christ. And now, all of a sudden, now you worshiping your enemies, man. 
Now all of a sudden you worshiping your enemies and guess what? Now you serving the devil, man. You serving the devil. You don't even know that you serve the devil when you pray in the seizure board here, which is not Christ according to the Bible. This right here, this right here, this is not serving the Bible, man. This right here is serving Satan. That, that's what you're doing when you're praying to this, this false Jesus right here. You're praying to Satan. Read it again. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. That's what you got to realize right there, black man. You got to realize that you've been lied to for the last past 400 years about who God is, about who Christ is, man. About the whole Bible, your whole perception of the Bible is weak because of your oppressor, man. That's right. Your whole perception of the Bible, you thinking about the goodly, the goodly things when guess what? The Bible tells you that you have an enemy. You don't even know that because you don't like to read. The thing about black people, that's that's why they're saying about black people, if you ever want to hide something from a Negro, you put it where? You put it in a book. They say that because black people do not like reading. Black people don't want to learn no knowledge or get into reading. But guess what? The Lord said this right here. This book right here, this Bible, this is going to save us out of this captivity and this hell that we face. My whole life was trying to find something to follow. Had loyalty, every man tried to borrow Felt pain, and a lot of sorrow Got betrayed, so packed, I didn't even have my heart broke Living confused, about to lose hope Cops got me on the side of the road Like a sideshow, need an antidote before I croak Now I'm setting fire to rhythm man blues Call this guitar smoke Rebel with no cause, trying to find direction The world got me vexed Picked up a bad lick of habit that's already turned from oppression Felt like my life was on fire trying to find an exit Now look, 10 G's plus a good wreck Sometimes a follower is a soldier Trying to find a good shepherd Plus when you in hell, how do you excel? Wisdom the breath of life, I don't believe in fairy tale. Listen well to what I tell No call it can cause pain Something that a rebel knows very well can't you tell I was sent from the Lord? Got a tongue like a two-edged sword.